yeah hello everyone welcome to this video and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to fix this um, error from credo error 38 so i appreciate if you are a returning subscriber and if you are new to this channel i'd like you to just go ahead click the like button and subscribe to this channel so because what you are going to be getting here they are educative and they are realistic so I'm going to be showing you how to fix this error that says try restarting your computer then restarting the program I'm going to explain it the reason why you have it and then um, how you can fix it so if you have ever encountered problem like this one thing is that if you restarted your computer it will not work uh, when I encountered this problem some times ago I restarted my computer a few times and then it didn't work I had to uninstall my um, Corel draw. I think some of you may have that same um, problem or same issue where you may have to uninstall your Corel draw, and that won't even solve the problem. So if you now get a client that wants to give you a job or anything like that, you you will <laughs> you will have to bear the loss of maybe missing a job or affording some time. Um, Wasted. So I'm just here to solve the problem for you, and let me just go straight towards that. So the reason, the main reason why you have this is because of your licensing. Maybe you are using um, um, a license that is not official, or you are using some apps that maybe like antivirus that flagged um, a few things on your laptop without your consent, or maybe you mistakenly. Um, disabled some services so that your system will run faster so a lot of reasons can be attached to it but it, that i'm sharing this in case of next time so that you won't fall into this trap again because it, it doesn't just solve the problem if i just show you the way to fix this problem so next time you when you have the this problem you don't know the reason why you have this kind of issue so it happens because maybe you install an antivirus so generally it doesn't mean that it's a virus that is on your laptop so you may just flag down a, a few things or a few processes so that your system can run faster so when you encounter this issue like this um, there are just two ways to to hit now if you are using correct 7 or x3 or lower or any version i'll show you the two method that works so but the two method they are almost the same thing so um, the easiest way right now is to press window hard on your keyboard which is wrong or you can go to task manager um, so it's actually something something is missing in all of this space that is the reason why um, the main reason why this corridor is not working so but if you just look at this place you may not understand so I want to take you through a guide that will make you understand what exactly is not running here so you go to your file and go to run new task so actually i've run this task before so we are going to services.msc s-e-r-v-i-c-e-s so these are serv these services are the operations that run um, on your laptop or on your computer to make things work out so uh, just type this there so it's because i've used it before a few other commands i've used before they had one that here so it's not necessary you create with administrative privileges it's just okay like this so just press okay and let's see um let's wait for the results now it, it actually brings us to this weird view where we don't really understand everything but uh don't just bother with this actually your home may not look like this it may look more complex because i switched to the standard view in, in order to let you understand yeah uh, you, you may your home may open up in an extended view like this that is more complicated so whether you have this or you have this you can just switch to the standard one so that i can understand i know these are tiny lot of stuff but um there are two things i need uh, actually just one but if you are running correct x3 or uh, any lower version of x4 x5 uh, there are just two options to you let me put it that way so option one is that you look for protesics P R O T E X I S X as in times and high S so protesics so you look for protesics licensing and then 
uh, if you find it you will apply the same process actually if i look for protest 6 here protest 6 is not here um, because i'm using an updated version of windows and all, the, all of that so an uh, updated version of corridor too so what you can use in this one what we use to solve it is, is the uh, we look for core licensing so this is query licensing this is one that is running query licensing service uh, i know this might be tiny but just look at it query license validation service 2 so this one is disabled and then i will just have to open it here and instead of disabled just first change it to automatic and then i will apply so a few things will change but actually this alone doesn't solve the problem let me click ok and restart this program let's see you, will, you see that it still pops up this error again so initially it pops up but internally it has been solved so it has been solved but right now if you now restart the system then you brought the problem like if you restart the system if you now restart the system now the problem is going to be solved but uh, for the sake of this video i don't want to restart my system so i want you to see the results sharp sharp so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click start directly here so this is going to take some time as soon as i restart it's not going to show me that process at all so i'll just click ok and then um, i really don't need this again let me close the services and let's see if it works or not and then i'll double click and open um core if you can see very well you notice that it doesn't pop up that area again and then now it brings me to this stage where i have exhausted my trial period i'm actually i'm going to show you how to fix this to if you if you battle with this maybe you are using a trial or your trial has almost ended so instead of paying 300 400 dollars to um credit there are few things you can do to well which are actually not um um, very very official but they are just life-saving tips for people that do not have the financial capacity to buy the um, the app for now or the license so I'm just gonna close this and let's see if it runs or it doesn't run so uh, let me wait a few couple of seconds it's gonna take some time because it's, it's just like it's, it's trying to re-engineer its process so it brings to me here yeah, trial expired but now you can see that the current is not returning an error again so like it has worked perfectly perfectly so let's say i create a new document i just wanted to test this out if it works or not so or if that thing actually affects any other thing so let me just click ok here yeah. um but uh, the problem here is just that some features are disabled because I can't use, uh, I can't, so if I see here, I can't save this document, I can't do anything to it, I have to uh, activate it. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to activate it perfectly without any problem, perfectly without any problem. So don't forget, if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and please and please and please like this video and share it with your people that you know that they are going to benefit from the video so once again i'm okay man i thank you very much for watching this video i hope to see you in the next one